I joined the New South Wales Food Authority in 2006 as the Chief Scientist, but I've been in the role of CEO since 2015. For the provider and the retailer, I'd really say identify those high risk menu items. So for example, foods that contain raw or just, just cooked eggs are at a higher risk of food contamination and food poisoning if they're handled very poorly. So think of menu items um, such as sauces like um, mayonnaise, aioli and hollandaise, um, spreads like an egg butter and desserts such as fried ice cream, a mousse or tiramisu, drinks like a high protein smoothie, all of these items fall into that group and all of them have been linked at some point to causing illness in people. The second thing I'd ask um, providers and retailers to do is to be allergy aware. And the final thing is, well, it's actually a final five, it's follow, you know, five simple food safety tips and that's clean. You know, wash your hands with soap and warm running water before handling food and especially between handling raw foods and ready to eat foods. Know how to use detergents and sanitizers properly. And your EHO is really well equipped to be able to um, demonstrate this to you and show you how to do that well. Chill food. If food is supposed to be kept cold, keep it cold, store it at low, at five degrees or below. Um, likewise, cook food. Hot food needs to be kept at 60 degrees or above um, and make sure that um, foods like poultry, sausages, mince and stuffed meat dishes are cooked to 75 degrees in the centre. Use a food thermometer, it's really simple. Separate, need to prevent cross-contamination, especially between raw meats, seafood, fish or poultry, which might contain harmful organisms with those ready to eat foods like cooked meats, desserts and salads. And above all, if you don't feel well, don't go to work. You could make your colleagues and your patrons sick as too. Well, to me, it means that no matter where you are in the food supply chain, from primary producer right through to the consumer, you have a role to play in keeping food safe. In Australia, food allergy is estimated to affect about 1% to 2% of adults and 4 to 8% of children under the age of 5. Um, it's even thought that 10% of children who are under the age of 1 have a proven food allergy. So it really it falls upon that um, provider and the retailer to know the ingredients, to know how they prepare their food, because someone's life will depend on you having this knowledge. EHOs have played a significant role in reducing the rates of salmonellosis in New South Wales. Since 2014, we've seen an overall rate drop by nearly 30%, which is a tremendous achievement. The restaurant and cafe setting has been linked to a number of foodborne illness outbreaks over the years, and EHOs have been key to reducing the food safety risks in this setting. That's through the education of food handlers, through compliance checks, and if need be, by using enforcement tools. Follow those five simple food safety tips around cleaning, keeping cold food cold, hot food hot, separating, preventing cross-contamination and, and not preparing food for others um, if you yourself aren't very well. Um, I suppose this is perhaps more a message to the consumer that who's out there is that it's a time when perhaps we're trying to cook for more people than we usually would. And we um, stuff our refrigerators full of a whole lot of food. So um, just make sure once again, that your refrigerators are working properly, pop into it a fridge um, thermometer. Um, there's some really simple ones around uh, that will let you know that your fridge is at five degrees or, or below. And, and again, just uh, follow those, those really simple rules and we can all be safe for the festive season. Keep up the good work um, and especially to EH, um, O's out there, 
a really big thank you for all the work that you do and how you keep the community safe. Thank you.